So with Dunlop coming out with the new Q5 series, including the Q5 and the Q5S, and discontinuing the Q3 Plus and the Q4, let's talk tires. So for the last few years, I've run pretty much solely the Q3 Pluses. I was a huge fan of them. Um, I actually was pretty upset and you know, sad that they were come, they were discontinuing them and coming up with the new Q5Ss. Uh, that being said, last year, for the full season, I ran Q5Ss on my CBR600, and I was pretty impressed with them. I was a big fan. A couple things I do like better and don't like better, but you know, we'll get into that. So, big thing for the Q3s, so the Q3 Pluses, I was getting uh, 2,500, maybe 3,000 miles out of it. I wasn't losing a lot on the, uh, the center strip, there being a dual compound tire, but I was losing it on the sides. The softer compound was definitely wearing way faster, uh, and I was getting down to the wear bars on the side rubber before I really was getting down to anything on the center strip. I didn't have any issues with the Q3 squaring up, which was nice, uh, except for very late in life uh, with a lot of highway mileage. All in all, they were a really good tire. Uh, they really filled you with confidence. Uh, even in the rain, they did pretty good with the side siphon. They, uh, they felt pretty good. I definitely, I've ridden in some pretty heavy rain with them, uh, particularly in North Carolina. You get stuck in some pretty heavy downfall, you know, downpours down there. And uh, I could feel them slip. A um, couple instances on, what was it, uh, Devil's Triangle, when you're hitting the tar snakes uh, in the rain, you could, you could feel the tires slip pretty good. Um, but even pushing it pretty hard through the rain, I, I, they, they did pretty good. I, I really can't complain on that. For, for what they are, being a, a hypersport tire, you know, something that you could track if you wanted to, uh, having that kind of control in the rain was pretty good. Uh, I was a big fan of them being a constant radius tire, so when you're, it didn't really feel like it had that tipping point, you know, it was this nice smooth transition, which is something that the Q5s don't have, the Q5Ss, um, they are not a constant radius tire, and you can definitely feel them tip in, in the first uh, good, you know, 100 miles or so, 200 miles, I had to get used to the new field tires, I've ridden Q3 Pluses for so long that, you know, now getting into the Q5s, it, it really kind of threw me off in my cornering and I had to readjust, you know, how, how fast and how hard I was tipping in the bike. Um, cause I found myself actually coming in too hot on the corner, too much of an angle in the corner, too, too hard. Um, so really sent me, uh, sent me for a loop for a little bit, but sticking with the Q3s, um, I, I'm a huge fan. I, I really do. Uh, miss those tires. I would rock them on anything. In fact, my takeoffs, which still have some life to them, are going on the uh, the CB 750 RR project. I've got mine on the back right now, and then also on the the front or for when the super hot fronting goes off, because they are just a really really good tire. Um, but you can't get them anymore. They're discontinued, and the Q4 is also discontinued. I had a good friend of mine brought Q4s. He loved them. So the feel was great. He thinks the feel on the Q4s was better than the feel on the Q5s. Not the Q5S, just a straight Q5. And uh, the one downfall of that Q4 was it was definitely squirrely in the rain. And he went through the sidewalls. Now again, this is spirited riding, but the, uh, not the sidewalls, the, the edge of the tire. Um, he was down to the wear bars in about 800 miles of, of spirited riding on the, uh, the edge of the tire. So they definitely wore fast. The Q5s get definitely better wear than the Q4s did. But um, the new Q5Ss, like I said, not a constant radius tire. They definitely have a tip point, uh, but the, the edge of the tire, you can absolutely feel the difference. The amount of grip those tires have when you're pushing it to the edge is phenomenal. Uh, you can really feel them bite into the pavement they really, uh, really handled quite well. Once you kind of got used to that, you know, going from, from the Q3s to the Q5s, 
once you got used to that new tip point to the bike, um, you didn't have to push it so hard. I feel like for me, they were a little bit slower on transitions, um, especially after riding. You know, there's some days that you're putting 200 plus miles in of you know spirited riding, and I'm definitely not in the most excellent shape in my life. So my legs by the end of it are are getting kind of tired from pushing you know pushing the bike around. And uh, there was a couple times you know where I was like, oh boy, trying to push the bike back over just my own you know uh, fatigue that it was definitely slower and harder to transition the bike corner to corner uh, than the Q3s were. That being said, I really do enjoy the Q5Ss. Um, I think they're arguably better in the wet. Uh, they give you really good confidence. In the corners, I didn't really feel any slipping on them. Definitely, definitely a very good tire. I've seen a lot of reviews that people had issues on the track with, with tearing them up. Um, I run my tires at 30 PSI. I ran my Q3 Pluses at 30 PSI cold. I'm running my Q5Ss at 30 degrees cold. Um, that's what works for me. It just, what feels good. Always go, I always go by the, the manufacturer's spec for what they should put the tires to. There's the outdated, you know, 36, 42, that was on tires from 20 years ago. That's just a holdover. Tire technology has come so far. Those Q5s, they have the, uh, the carbon fiber technology in them and they heat up so fast. You know, we would take off and, and you know, 80 degree heat or so, seven, high 70s, low 80s. And by the time you hit, you know, three or four corners and uh, maybe a couple of hard brakes on it to get some heat in them, they were great. They stuck, they felt good. Um, really, really good tires. I, I definitely like the Dunlops. I, I've had really good look with them. Um, I've run some other brands. Uh, the Battle Axes, what are they, the RS-11s, uh, those are also really, really good tires. The RS-10s and RS-11s are really, really good. Um, but I've just kind of been running the Dunlops for a while. Um, I know that they have some issues on the tracks, like I said, with, you know, premature wear. Um, I can't, I can't, you know, speak for the track. I haven't taken it out on the track yet. This is just daily riding, spirited riding. You know stuff like that and if you look at my you know i have almost 2,000 miles on my yeah 2,000 miles over 2,000 miles 2,500 2, on my q5s's on my cbr um a lot of twisties but also a lot of highway you know commuting in the summertime i mean that's that's my main go around there's no reason for me to take a car out when i have the bike and as long as the weather's decent you know that's what i ride um and I have no no squaring on it. The, that center patch is really good. Um, the Q5Ss have side siphon. They do well in the rain. Uh, if I were to be forced to, to take a pick between the two, um, as much of a fan of the constant radius tires and how easy it was to corner and how smooth it felt, those Q5Ss, for me, really um, kind of turned it up to the next notch. You know, I could feel... I felt more confident, carrying more speed in the corners. Uh, definitely enjoyed them. It was a very fun tire. I, I, will, I will definitely be buying another set when these uh, wear out. Probably end up getting a new set in July. I try to get a new set before I take a trip, take a yearly trip. Uh, this year, I believe I'm going to be going to the Adirondacks to spend a, a long weekend in the Adirondacks riding. Never really been up there. Um, we'll see what's up there. We'll see what's out there. Take a, a good, you know, four or five day weekend and enjoy some uh, some of the, you know, upper New York uh, roads that they have up there, going through the, uh, the mountains out there. Should be a lot of fun. I've driven through it in, uh, in a car, but I've never taken a bike out there. So it should be a really good time. Very much looking forward to that. In conclusion, as much as I loved the Q3 Pluses, I think the Q5S is a better tire, at least for your spirited canyon riding, you know, canyon carving. Uh, it did great with my bike. Now, my bike's only about 400 pounds, but I'm like 250, so <laughs> there's still a fair bit of weight on them. Uh, but yeah, I, I would take the Q5S's. Uh, I think they're a better tire. 
there is some technology that allegedly trickled up to their uh, their race tires from the Q5s and Q5S series. You know, so that's something to think about. Um, if you're looking for a daily driver tire for you know whatever your your sport bike, if you're just commuting it around town, I think there's better options out there. I would go with something like a Road Five. It's going to give you a lot more mileage. It's going to give you better performance in the rain, and it's going to cost you a lot less money. That was definitely a con to the Q5s's. Was the price point uh, compared to the Q3 pluses went up significantly. I think they're about a hundred dollars more set. Um, I was getting them through a friend at a shop, so I was getting mine at uh, at a reduced price. But I think I paid two sixty for a set of Q3 pluses, and I want to say that the Q5S's cost me almost $400. It's about $100 more for the set. I'm trying to recall, it was about a year ago, and I just... It never really mattered, so I didn't really keep track of it. You need tires, you need tires, and that's what I wanted. So, uh, I didn't really care that it was going to cost me a little bit more money. Any performance tire, in my opinion, is going to... It's going to cost you money, you know? If you want good, solid tires, they're going to cost you a bit of money. And that's just a necessary evil to having a motorcycle. But yeah, Q5s, great tire. I would definitely recommend them for anybody looking for it. A hypersport, you know, for your canyon cruising. Uh, if you happen to cross a set of, of Q3 pluses, you know, the, some leftover stock and they're on a discount, great tire, absolutely great tire. Uh, I'm curious to see where the Q5 line goes in a couple years. They seem to kind of, you know, update it with you know, an S or a plus or whatever their, their next iteration is. Um, hopefully they figure out, you know, what's going on with the track. Uh, I've seen it on Q, you know, I've seen the reviews on the Q5s and the Q5Ss, both of them, that they're having issues with premature wear at the track. I mean, people are ripping those things up. Um, I don't know if it's an issue with the tire pressure that they're running, if they're just not running at an optimal tire pressure for how they're riding, or if there is an issue with the tire. But... As far as road go use, they're great. I'll snap in a couple pictures of my tires. You know, these have, the Q3s are going to have over 2,000 miles on them, 2,500 to 3,000 on them. And the Q5s are going to have over 2,000, 2,500 on them as well. Uh, and you can see the wear patterns in it. You can see, you know, I ride them fairly hard. They're not, not crazy. I'm not going nuts, but, you know, I ride fairly hard when I'm out. And uh, they, they look great. So the only issues I really had with the Q3s was uh, the side siping. I would get down to the wear bars on the side siping before the centers wore out. But anyway, well, this is the first one of uh, what I'm going to be calling their shop talks. Of doing just kind of a sit down, talk and review. Uh, I'm going to be putting out more of these as interesting stuff comes out. Uh, I don't know the regularity of it, but... You know, if a uh, new tire is coming out that I'm trying, or a new, uh, maybe a new bike, or new items are coming out, something I think is interesting. I'm not going to make a full review channel or something like that. It's just not really what I want to do. But I do like to uh, see what's out there, see what's new, and open up a discussion for it. You know, if you guys had good luck with the Q3s, or you hated them, or you've had great luck with the Q5s, or you've hated them and you have other recommendations, that's great. I think opening up a channel for, you know, discussion is always good and uh, kind of getting a general consensus of what works for some people, what works for others, tire pressures, basic stuff that you talk about with your buddies when you're out riding. So I want to open up the discussion here and yeah, open up a community. Everybody gets to talk to each other. It's going to be a, it'll be a good, good time. So. That's it for today.